Um, so the story I'm going to tell tonight uh, happens about after my first year of university. Um, I didn't have a, a great first year, and I decided that I'm going to sort myself out because obviously science and chemistry and me don't get along. So uh, with that advice or with that idea, I decided I was going to take off and I was going to do a work, a work abroad exchange. So uh, I left Canada and I went all the way over to England. And uh, when I arrived there, I was lucky enough to have some of my, uh, my family was already from there because my grandmother was a, a war bride. And so I stayed with my aunt. And my aunt lived just outside of London and she lived on this farm um, not far outside of Oxford. And she had uh, two, two kids and she was working. And so in, in order to manage everything, she had uh, a nanny. And I can't quite remember her name. Um, so we'll just call her Olga because uh, she's from the Czech Republic. And so that sounds somewhat close enough, I think, that she might be actually named Olga. Um, and so I lived with her for a while when I first arrived because I, I didn't know what I was, was going to do, really. And I was kind of getting my uh, just established and and her and I actually ended up becoming really good friends because we were roughly around the same age. And her English was, was quite good. And we started spending time together. And uh, there was one particular day where we decided to actually go into the city, or at least in this case, into Oxford. And we're walking around and we're taking in the sights. And um, we walk past this bookstore. And on the window, there's this poster. And it says, uh, later today, around I think 3 o'clock, Mikhail Gorbachev was going to be there. And he was going to be signing his, his book, his memoir. And that if you wanted, you could buy his book and get in line, and, you could, uh, and he would sign it for you. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like, M Mikhail Gorbachev, like, this, is, this is awesome. And this was shortly after like, the, the fall of the Berlin Wall. So um, the impact even then was, was like, a little bit more profound. And I turned to her and like, you, you know, you should, you should come with me, you should, you should do, we should do this together. And she got really hesitant all of a sudden, um, and I wasn't quite sure, under, you know, I didn't quite under, understand why. And she's like, no, I have to go back, I have to, I have to take care of the kids. And, and I'm like, no, you know, I, it's fine, I think I could just call my aunt. Um, I'm, she's, she's a great person, I'm sure she'd understand, and she, she, I'm sure she'll just make other arrangements, and you can stay here with me, and, and, and we'll, we'll do this together, it'll be amazing. And, and she just came up with all of these different excuses. And, and so I, I finally conceded, and I was like, okay, I said, well, here's what we'll do. Um, you obviously have to buy the book, because it was very explicit. Was, if you want it signed, you need to buy the book. And I said, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll get a postcard, and I'll, I'll get him to sign it for you as sort of like an alternate, because the book was, book was like $60. And, and I thought, oh, this would be like a really good souvenir. I could get it signed for my parents and come back and be like, oh, look, you know, um, you know, I'm not such a waste of <laughs> disappointment to you. <laughs> Here's a book. It's signed by the calendar type. Um, and so she's like, okay. And, and so sh she left. And so I, I, I buy the book and, and, and a postcard of Oxford. And I, and I get in line. And I wait. And, and the line gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And finally, after about two hours, uh, they open the doors and, and we start filing in. And, and uh, it was really funny because, of course, as you could imagine, this is Mikhail Gorbachev who knew shortly after the fall and the Berlin Wall, and, and so there's security everywhere. Um, and it's not just like normal security, it's, it's Russian security. So it's kind of like Men in Black, except um, if, if Men in Black, well, I'm sure it's in 3D, but like in your face, there's uh, all the Russian security guards are, are wearing, you know, like black tuxes and uh, just really imposing. Like even some of the female uh, security was, you know, with laser jackets and, and, and dark pants. And, um, and so we're filing through and we're getting closer and closer and, and uh, you can sort of see him. He's sort of sitting on this podium behind this table and he's in the middle and there's, there's people beside him and there's like security guards on every possible point of the room and, and they actually start yelling at us because they're, they're like, he's only signing the book. He's not signing anything else. <laughs> so you have to have the book <laughs> or, or don't even bother. And so I was like, oh, okay, all right, I got my book. Um, and uh, as we're getting closer, they started getting more and more intense and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh my God, he's not... Okay, I have my book, but I'm like, I'm starting to panic because I'm like, I have this postcard and I really want him to sign the postcard, but it's obviously not a book. And the security guards are like, at one point in time, there was someone left their bag and the security guards is like, whose bag is that? 
this is a bag. You better all, we're going to take that outside and we're going to blow it up. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> starting to panic. And like all these spy movies are going through my head. And I'm like, oh my God, they're going to take me out back. They're going to take one of my fingers. And like, I don't, I don't, I'm like trying to decide in my head. I'm like, is it worth it? Like maybe I should, maybe I should just get him to sign the book and I can just tell her an excuse later. And, and so finally I'm like, I'm sweating and I, I don't know what to do. And, and my turn comes and, and I'm standing there in, in front of him. And so I, I take my book, which I bought, and I, and I put it in front of him, and I open it, it opens it up, and he, he shakes my hand. He's, he's a lovely man, by the way. Um, very firm handshake. And, uh, but he has this lovely smile, lovely smile. And, uh, and so just in that moment, and I swear to God, it was a last-minute decision, and um, he signs the book, and I just start babbling in English. Um, and I say that because I'm sure he understood English given his position, but he didn't seem as though he did. He just was smiling and nodding. And I just so ever quickly just like threw this postcard on the other side in front of him and just, this is for my friend and I just, if you could sign it, that'd be really great. And, uh, and he, he did, he was, he was amazing. He just like took his pen out and he, he signed the postcard too. And, and I swear to God, I ran because I thought that I'd gotten away from something. And then there's be like these Russian security guards just like running after me, going, "That's not a book." Um, and and so I get out and I'm I'm relieved because it's like, oh okay, oh, good. I, I've got my book signed. I can take it home to my parents and they'll be so proud of me. Um, and then I've got this postcard for for my friend. And uh, and so I get home and I I present it to her and. Uh, I, you know, I thought it must be like, wow, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful gift or whatever, and, and um, especially as, as what I've gone through. But she, she takes it, and she starts crying because um, she was so touched. Because, you know, for me, it's, you know, this political, iconic figure that did this amazing thing in history that nobody will, f will forget. And, and coming from Canada, that's how I see it. You know, it would be something that my parents could possibly you know, show at parties, because I, <laughs> I can be that superficial. <laughs> um, but to her, it was this, this person that changed her life, and it was somebody that really, you know, in her country, and, and the difference that, that he made was so profound to her um, that it had actually changed the way that I, you know, thought of this book that, that he had actually taken the time to sign. So um, for me, that was a really lovely moment, and it, you know, it was worth risking a finger for, so, <laughs> thank you.